So, if you guys are just joining us, because you are, because we just went live here on Facebook, I'm going to try to join you as well. North Hollywood, that's where we are. Car theft suspect on the run. And uh, you know what? Sky Fox found him. He's actually there on that wall. Uh, Vinny's going to push into him so you can see him. Uh, earlier on, we can't do the roll tape. I wish we could do the roll tape because it would be pretty nifty to watch. Uh, you know, basically this guy uh, ran from officers. You know, let, let's let's kind of give you guys a little bit of a setup up, up here, what's going on. So you're just seeing this guy sitting on a wall, talking on his phone, smoking a cigarette. Looks kind of, you know, undaunting. But uh, you have to uh, know some of the history here. So stolen vehicle suspect that's how this thing started it started as a car pursuit a vehicle pursuit two guys were in the car one of them they took into custody pretty quickly this guy kind of slipped away uh, moments later at the 6100 block of Enzyme out here in the North Hollywood area uh, they started getting frantic 911 calls a young woman inside a house uh, somebody trying to break into the house and broke into the house and then was trying to get into the locked bedroom where that young girl was. It was this guy right here. Now, officers from LAPD, they were surrounded. They were nearby. They were already looking for him. Uh, they got there pretty quick. They surrounded the house. I'm wondering if he's watching us on Facebook Live right now. If it was, it'd be pretty nifty. But anyways, now he's taking pictures. At any way, and, and, and so... What was going on is he was inside that house, LAPD surrounded the house, and they got that young girl out. And when I, we saw her, and we're probably talking a teenage girl, so pretty scary stuff indeed. Uh, one of the officers then saw this guy on the perimeter actually out on Vineland. Uh, the guy took off running, jumped the fence, got a ladder, climbed up on some rooftops. We were watching him earlier on. It was a lot more activity earlier, uh, basically running around on those rooftops and then on that little wall right there. Right now, well, he's just kind of standing there, sitting there, standing, sitting. Uh, he had a, he smoked a cigarette. He's been, uh, he's been on his phone. He's been uh, maybe doing some of his own Facebook Live down there. Who knows? Uh, but at any rate, LAPD, they've got this guy pretty much surrounded. So now it's the how do you get this guy into custody? Well, you know, less than lethal. That might be a good good way to do it. But you got to get close enough. You know, those aren't those less than lethal aren't sniper rounds. There, you got to be pretty close to actually hit. hit hit that suspect and again he's on a wall he's an armed suspect that's the other part of it now is he still armed was he he is he's a burglary or a robbery suspect robbery suspect not burglary robbery suspect so you know there's there's that to contend with as well um right now kind of more of a standoff than anything else and uh, you can see it right there. He's, he's kind of just hanging out. Uh, Vinny's going to, doing those wides. The, you know, for the folks that are saying, oh, we want to see him, we want to see him, you know, okay, we, we get that, but we also have to go a little bit wider every now and then, not because we're afraid something's going to happen, but we got to keep an eye on what those officers are doing. Uh, today, I'm listening to the, our live show. If you guys are local and you're watching on the, on the phone or on, on whatever device you got, computer, uh, you know, in your nearby television, Fox, turn it on right now, Channel 11. You've got other newsy goodness down there. I'm pretty sure it's Marla and Bobby. And, uh, you know, we've got other stuff, and we'll probably go live with this as updates later on. Now you can see him. He's kind of looking to see where those officers are, and they are all around him. Now there's a less than lethal right there. And anytime you see an officer with a brightly colored weapon, you know, a green weapon, a red weapon, whatever, and you got that nice officer there just saying, oh, just come over here and talk to us. We just want to talk to you. I don't know what he's saying. But uh, but at any rate, you know, th th at least he knows that they know where he is. The helicopter, the LAPD helicopter has been above for quite some time. Uh, and that's one of the other things that I've been listening to is that. So it's been it's been a little busy up here. Uh, somebody's making Humpty Dumpty uh, jokes. He's been pretty agile. I'm not going to say, you know, I mean, we just see him from a distance. We got him on the camera there. I don't know if he's a buff dude or if he's just, uh, let's just say, portly. But he's got some balance. And this guy should look into some skateboarding. Uh, you know, he really, he, we, I was watching him running on that wall. And earlier on, I was saying, I I couldn't pull that off. I, I would I would have fallen a long time ago. But at any rate, he's still up there. Uh, now at least there is some communication. This is a good way to start stuff. But then again, this might be one of those where we wind up sitting here watching this guy sitting on a wall for hours on end where they're trying to plan how they're going to take him into custody. The, the reason why they just don't rush him or do anything like that, one, yeah, there's a good chance he'll take off running. They don't want him to try to break into somebody's home. And then also the reports were armed robbery suspect in there so that's probably one of the reasons as well also you know he is on a six foot wall 
And, you know, if you hit him with a beanbag right now, he's definitely going to fall. That's going to hurt. You know, we just don't, we don't want to, even LAPD doesn't want to see anybody, you know, get, breaking bones and stuff like that. I'm sure it's a lot of paperwork for those guys. So, at any rate, uh, this is where we're sitting. This is what's going on. I, I just see our picture went to black. I hope it didn't go to black uh, everywhere. No, I just I just love your input every now and then, Adam. You you always got good stuff. Yes, I can hear you. Let me turn the scanner down. What's up? Two minutes or so. Copy all. I'll keep an ear out for you. Thank you for the heads up. <coughs> so, again, if you guys are just joining us for the uh, first time, it, this is kind of a behind-the-scenes of the behind-the-scenes uh it, and uh, I do read the comments. I try to join in. I try to answer questions. And I also, you know, it, you guys, you are my first priority. Trust me. I love answering you guys' uh, comments. But sadly, you're not paying, you know, you're not signing the checks. And, and that's Fox. And, and we got to do live stuff. So if I stop talking in the middle of a sentence, uh, I'm probably uh, shifting gears to do something else or probably we're going to go live. They are going to take us live here. Uh, if you guys are at home, turn it on. Bobby and Marla, you know, and a lot of newsy goodness. And it's going to be Channel 11. And we, we're doing the Fox at noon, I believe. So at any rate, they're going to come back. So I got to stay frosty. You can see him. Yeah, it looks like he's getting down. It looks like he's actually going to just kind of walk over there and let himself go. Uh, that would be the better of the two scenarios, but we'll see. Maybe they'll do it right as we go live. There we go. Perfect timing. Don't don't go into custody yet. We're not live. <laughs> Somebody call those officers. Tell them to tell them to slow it down. Bruce Smith showing us how useless building a wall would be. Oh, they're very, very clever, Ru. Very clever. <sighs> Look at that. Peaceful resolution. And no. No. His cheeks are a lot more rosy but I don't think Jose smokes and he doesn't wear glasses <clears throat> he does I've never I've never seen him wear glasses That's right, Barbara and Marla, and you can take a look right there. Basically, just let you know, getting down off the wall and walking over to the officers. Officers putting the cuffs on them. Apparently, some of those phone calls were to friends and relatives that are just across the street. They actually just ran over their officers, just kind of keeping them out of the way. They, you know, they don't want them to be around when they're going to pat this guy down. But definitely taking the suspect into custody. Now, you have to remember, this is a, a suspect from a stolen vehicle pursuit that started earlier on. Possibly, this one is the arm. There was two of them inside there. One of them was an armed robbery suspect. They took one in custody right away, but this guy actually broke into a home over here on Enzyme, the 6100 block of Enzyme out here in the North Hollywood area, and gave a young girl a real fright. She was calling 911. She locked herself in the bedroom. Apparently, this guy trying to get into the bedroom. LAPD, they got in there. They rescued that girl, but this guy must have snuck out. They did see him a block away, a little bit of a foot chase, and then you saw it live. This guy running on, on rooftops and walls and just kind of staying away from the officers. In the end, uh, he, the suspect on his own got down off the wall, let himself go into custody. You can see it right there. He's getting booked. Again, this all happening in the North Hollywood area. This is actually going to be on Vineland. Again, the 6100 block of Vineland. Suspect in custody, and it looks like nobody was injured or hurt this afternoon. I'm Stu up in Sky Fox. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, thank you, Shannon, Sharon, Sharon, sorry.
Brenda, Brenda Thompson from Florida. I'm just letting you know I got my uh, my Florida man T-shirt on because well I was I am, I'm technically a native of Florida, but you know it's like well, you know, you know Florida man right? It's like Florida man tried to feed his pet alligator. You know Florida man. So that's you know that, that that's that's what that's what the shirt's all about. I'm talking to Adam. I I have that shirt as well, but. So he didn't resist, Joey. He didn't resist, and he complied with officers. And uh, a lot of discussion going on. So. So. Kim, you banks. We still have to. We still have to do the. Uh, still have to do the uh, barbecue. I don't see Siamara. No Siamara. That's right. Uh, well, that's another one in the books right there. Guys in custody. Everybody's. Uh, every, nobody got hurt. You know, and uh, it's it's all coming to an end. Well, thank you, Skyfox with two Ys. I wonder if that's like because you're referring that uh, we might be uh, having a little vodka up here, which would be nice, but it's not true. Yep. <laughs> Edgar, that's pretty funny right there. So, at any rate, uh, just uh, reading reading a lot of the uh, reading a lot of the comments, and uh, we're checking in, and we, we're probably going to be uh, heading back to base here in just a moment or two. But uh, before I do, just want to say I, I love the love. If you guys want to follow me on any of the social media, it's uh, Stu Mundell, M U N D E L M U N D E L. That's uh, it's, and I'm not Mandel, or I'm not Mindel, I'm, I'm the cheaper version, I'm the one with the U. And uh, at any rate, uh, you can find me on social media, all of the big three, uh, those are the ones I stay on. I'm not doing the TikTok yet, maybe we'll see someday. Instagram, uh, Facebook, and then Twitter, and uh, you know, if you want to follow along, and uh, that's always awesome. Vinny's, uh, we're doing orbits now, we're right next to Burbank Airport, so... They might be moving us out of the way here because of an aircraft coming in, or maybe maybe Adam just wants to get a different look at the uh, scene as that suspect's going into custody. I'm going to call the assignment desk and find out what's next for us. Hey, assignment desk. Well, suspect's in custody, and we're checking in. Okie dokie. 